What's going on everyone? Chris with Journos Comics and Pop Culture. I got a video today opening this little package right here. I think there's a decent key book in here, guys. Before I get into that though, guys, if you aren't subscribed to the channel yet, please take some time to do so and check out all those awesome links below. If you haven't checked out my official merch website, check that link out below. If you want to check out the Patreon.com uh, website where you can sign up for just $3.99 a month to help support the channel and get extra perks. The price of one new comic book. Please check that out below, guys. And of course, Comic Book Canon live shows every Friday. But guys, I want to let you all know, this Wednesday, again, we have a special Wednesday night Comic Book Canon being that uh, New Year's uh, falls on Friday. And uh, I'm also going to be having my special Wednesday edition of my Friday Night Live this Wednesday, guys. So it's going to be an awesome week. Uh, I have a, a, a lot of awesome things planned. I have a 2021 uh, Journos Key Comic Want List that I'll probably be rolling out within the next week. I have a massive, massive My uh, Comic Shop Hall unboxing that I'm expecting the mail any day now. So I'm really excited to be doing that. So lots of uh, fun stuffs I have for all my patrons too. Uh, via Patreon, I have my uh, monthly Patreon only videos that will be uh, released on Patreon most likely by the end of this week. So look out for those guys. But let's get into this package. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Oh, check me out. I got, I got me an awesome new... Black Panther, Wakanda, Warrior King t-shirt for Christmas. Really, really excited about that. Had to show that off. All right, guys, let's get into this. I hope, again, you all had a nice, uh, loving, warm Christmas or whatever holiday that you guys celebrate. Um, I know it's, it's, it's a crazy year. I hope you guys were safe, but still were in some form or fashion able to spend time with family and loved ones. Um, yeah, so, uh, with that being said, we had a good time. My son is saving up for, he's been saving up for PlayStation 5. He's been doing a flyering job for a local business, and he finally got enough money. But guess what, guys? We cannot get our hands on a PlayStation 5. Uh, I actually stayed up last night until 5 a.m., yeah. Uh, because supposedly there was supposed to be a, uh, uh, another set of uh, releases on Target and Walmart and whatnot. And I'm sitting there all night long, refreshing, refreshing the websites. Nothing. Out of stock, out of stock, out of stock. It's crazy. And But yet, you know, you get all these like people that are on, uh, you know, eBay trying to sell them for, um, or, you know, Facebook trying to sell them for like $1,000 and they have like 20 of them. I'm like, I just want one for my son. My son just wants one. He's been working all year long, saving up money, got a little Christmas money, and now he finally has money, and it's like, we can't get our hands on one, so I keep telling him, patience. All right, guys, this is it. Okay, let me tell you guys a story before I show this book off, all right? I was looking on eBay, and this seller had this book with a stock image, a stock image. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about stock images, guys. First off, to all you sellers out there, if you're using stock images to sell comic books, I would recommend finding another type of way to earn income. <laughs> but maybe it's working out for this guy because I still bought the book, right? But it's just, it, it's not feasible. I say the same thing for those that, that sell with just a picture of the book, you know, in the bag. It's like, you got to take the, the book out of the bag. You got to take multiple pictures. That's, it's just the work that you have to put in, especially on a platform like eBay. Uh, I, I, I understand you may sell a large volume of comic books and that's a lot for you, but, um, you know, it's, it's very tough when you're selling on eBay and you have all these other options of these books and you have a stock image. I'm not, I'm personally, I usually won't look at it, but one thing though with this seller was they had a, a best offer option. So they set a grade, they said what the grade was, and I really lowballed, really lowballed a, uh, a best offer. I believe it was half, about half of what they were asking. And I even said, you can leave comments when you send in an offer. I said, 
for the simple fact that you're using a stock image and I don't know what the book looks like, this is as high as I can offer. They declined my offer. I submitted another offer uh, that was $1 more. And I said, really, this is as high as I can go. They uh, counter offered $1 higher than that. And I accepted it. And I said, it better be the gray that you say it is, or I'll be requesting a refund in return. So I went ahead and did this and I wanted to explore this with you guys because this is my first time I've ever bought a book from a stock image. So let's see how we did, huh? <laughs> so I'm looking, I'm going to look at the book first here, guys. And you know what? You know what? I, I have to give it to them. I have to give it to these guys. Uh, this eBay seller, I, I think they did a pretty good job. And let's, let's show you the book, guys. Amazing Spider-Man number 30, first appearance of Ezekiel in Moreland. And I was just talking about this book in a, uh, a spec video for books to uh, look into before the release of Spider-Man 3. Uh, because when we talk about Spider-Verse and the characters that they can bring in to a, uh, you know, multi-verse, Spider-Verse, uh, Ezekiel is definitely one of them. I talk about the spider totem. Um, so here it is, guys. Beautiful white cover. Let's take this out of the bag. Now, the description from the eBay seller was very fine slash near mint. All right. The bag is kind of, bag and board are kind of old and dirty. Let's see. So I was just looking at it from the, uh, from the bag and board. And now that I'm looking at it outside of the bag and board, nope, nope, this is not very fine near mint whatsoever, whatsoever. So, yep. So, you know, I, I told this guy, uh, and this was an experiment, but look, okay, I'm going to try to let you guys see this. It, okay. So it's a white cover, so it's hard to see, but there are multiple spine ticks. There's a spine tick right here that goes into the the number box right there there is a brown like blemish right there i don't know if you guys can see that there's wearing on the edges there's another spine tick there um but look at this guys the back the back is where it it freaking first off look at this you see this little red mark that's a cut that's a piece of the page Sliced and, and, and cut and, and, and folded in. That's a chip off the cover. Look at that. Look at that. This is nowhere near a very fine near mint, especially for a modern book. Look at that. You can even see a bend on top of where the rip is. That's a rip. All right. Look at this. Look, I don't know if you guys can see this, but that's a, a, uh, Oh man, there, take my word for it if you guys can't see it. That's a color breaking crease right there, but you can't see it because it's white. Uh, look at this. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Uh, oh, there's another one right here. A big color breaking crease, right? You can see it in the light blue right there. Boom, look at that. And there's texture to it. You could feel the, the uh, wrinkling all from right here all the way here, but you could see it right there for sure. And, um, Look at this one right here on the blue. You see that right there on the blue. And look at how beat up it is around the edge. Look at the, look at this um, wear. Uh, okay, so that's not actually, that that's not much wear down there. You can actually see the page coming out. But got some, look at that right there. This book for a modern book um, is maybe... Maybe a 6.0. Maybe a 6.0. Was that a fine plus? This is nowhere near a fine near mint. Now, the inside of the book looks uh, not decently nice. Oh, look at this, though. Look at this. Look at this page. Now, I don't know if this would be considered a manufacturing defect. It might be something from manufacturing. If you guys can even see that. But there is... Right there, see? There's ripples in that page. Um... Yeah, this is not very fine near mint whatsoever. Um, I mean, it, look, it's still a decent presenting copy, but this is definitely a copy that's been handled, that's been read, 
And I mean, that's, that's the killer right there. Even though it's very small, that's the killer. That's a rip. That's going to take this book down. Even if the rest of this book was, say, in 9.6 condition, that would probably take this book down to uh, no higher than, than an 8.0. I've learned my lessons with, with rips, even little tiny minuscule ones like that. So um, I, I will be emailing this, um, this seller. Now, so here's the thing. So I paid, I ended up paying $11.50 for this book, all right? Which for the, the grade that they said that it was in, that, that's definitely uh, under fair market value. You guys can go reference my video that I did last week um, where I showed fair market value. I think I think a high fair market value for this was what? What was it? Like 40? 40, 40 the, the high raw on the market. Um, so still though, um, again, I'm, I'm very unhappy uh, with the grade. So uh, I'm going to email the, the seller and see what they, they say. Uh, if they want to give me a partial refund. You know, maybe look if they're willing to give me just a, a few dollars, a few dollars back, I'd I'd be happy. Um, you know, if they want to give me like four bucks back, which would be like you know a, a third of of or excuse me a quarter of what I paid, um, I I would accept that if they want to accept a return, whatever. But there, there, that's the experiment, guys. I went ahead and did a blind buy from a stock photo listing. So what's the lesson learned here, guys? Don't buy from a seller that is listing with stock photos unless you're willing to take the risk and then go through the hassle of having to contact them back and say, nope, it's not as described. So, hey, maybe I'll keep you guys updated. Look, uh, overall, you know, I, I did this because it was still, it was only 11 something dollars plus shipping though. I, I forget how much shipping was, so. Uh, you know, it wasn't like I was buying a huge key, you know, $100 to $200 to $500 book. So I was willing to take the risk. Like I said, I wanted to have fun and kind of do this reveal with you guys. But yep, there it is. So look, overall though, guys, uh, I still say keep a lookout on this book. Keep a lookout for this book. It's an awesome book to have. I recommend if you could find one for in a, in a high grade for like, you know, under $30 where you can Maybe get it pressed and clean and send it off to CGC. Try to get that nine nine eight. Um, very very uh, viable book to invest in. And also, there's a lot of potential with seeing these characters uh, in the MCU. So, all right, guys, that is it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought <laughs> of this uh, experiment blind buy here. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments again. If you aren't subscribed to the channel yet. Please take some time to do so. Again, catch me here, guys, and in just a couple days, special Wednesday, Friday Night Live show, uh, 4.30 p.m. Pacific time, and then catch us on the Canon, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time. And remember, it's still going to be A1 Wednesday. I don't know the theme of what their live sale is, but they're going to be having an Instagram live sale this Wednesday as well. It's going to be another packed Wednesday, and I love it. So thank you guys for watching. Be well, and until next time.